Hello again people, I'm gonna make another video, just cause I can, even though I only just made one like 15 minutes ago. This time it's going to be on recording League of Legends. Um, it's quite simple, it only requires two programs, um, you're gonna need fraps, which you can buy it or acquire it by some means, I'm not hinting at anything. Uh, <laughs> um, and you're going to need a program called, where's it gone, there it is, LOL Replay. And basically it's just a little program that is loaded when you start up your computer, then whenever you go into a game it automatically records the game, and then you can replay them back through the League of Legends client. Um, I'll go to the website to show you where you can download them. That's if I can remember them myself. I may have to Google this. Uh, LOL Replay. Yeah, LeagueReplays.com. You'll be taken to this site. Um, it is updated quite often. Um, uh, yeah. It's got loads of different features in it. You, c I'll show you in a minute. Um, the only thing it hasn't got in it yet is a rewind, so you need to remember where the parts of the video are that you want to film. Okay, um, there's two different ways to download it. There's a download link just here, or you can press download at the top, and then you get this download button at the top. You want to save that file, you'll run that, install it to wherever you want, and then you get this program. You won't have any of these replays, these are just my old games. Okay. You would then want to... I'm not going to do it because it would take too long and it would mean I need to play a game. But you would load up a game, join a queue, join, or go into champion select, pass all that. And then as soon as it loads up the champion loading screen, that's when it starts recording. And the cool thing about this program is that it doesn't actually record the program itself it records the packets that are being sent from your computer to the server so the s files, hang on if I can find them ok, e ones. the files themselves are um, look, 2 megabytes, 6 megabytes and that it's just so you can then run this and then record it again using fraps so I've already got a game loaded up, otherwise it would have taken ages, because you can't skip the loading screen because that's actually loading the packets. But what you do, here's the game, you can press play, and look, this is the replay from earlier, there's me. You can change the speed, so I can slow-mo the game, speed it up a bit. Um, what else is there? Pressing U hides the interface. You can right click to change the angle. Um, I resets the interface, plus goes forwards 10 seconds. And so does this button here. I almost died. I probably do die. Let's find out. Oh, that arrow went funny. Oh, I survived. The second arrow is normal speed. But you can check what all your teammates are doing. These are all in a game with, well, we're, yeah, there I died. We're all on team speak together at this point, apart from this guy, he was just a random. Um, you can't see health bars of your team when they're not in range of you. I don't know, that's probably because it doesn't load them when you're in game or, yeah, I'm guessing that. Um, once you got this though, say, um, yeah, Say I wanted to record this bit now, I could focus on Valraya or Maud, press my recording button, which is F9, and then when you go, it might lag because I'm running two recording programs. No, nah, it's doing well. Yeah. So it's now recording him, I can record this, I can move it around. As I said though, the only problem is you can't rewind, so you're going to need to know the parts you want to film. If you don't, then screw it. 
you need to reload the whole thing and go through it. Hopefully it'll add a rewind. But I'm guessing because packets are sent in order, you can't do it. Oh wow, I'm still level one. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, it is pretty cool how huh? I'll stop this recording, I'll show you. There you go. Uh I don't know where they actually save. Give me a second. Just drag this off screen. There we go. Okay, go into E Fraps movies. Cool. Um I should really organise my videos a bit more. <laughs> There you go. Oh, World of Warcraft. I haven't played that in ages. 2010. God. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's open that up. I've reinstalled Windows recently, so all the old programs that I used to use don't work anymore. Like this. I never used to use this, but now it's telling me it needs to import a load of crap. Yay. Hopefully I can cancel it. Let's see if it loads up. I normally use the VLC Media Player. It worked a lot better than this. There you go. That's what I just recorded. Yeah, it's going to lag because I'm running two programs that are recording all that stuff. But it will let you record games. It will let you do what you want, basically. And after this, the files themselves... How big is this file? Fraps takes up a hell of a lot of space. Just doing that then using high settings and everything that took up one for 45 seconds took up 1.23 gigabytes so with them files you can put them through a program like windows movie maker i probably don't have it installed actually no i don't it's through live essentials now it doesn't come installed but you can put it through movie maker or something and compress it um i use sony vegas or camtasia at the moment but you can put it through that, reduce the quality, or reduce the sound quality or anything. It will bring the file size down. Just putting it into the program will reduce it. And then you just export it as a different type of file. It's because Fraps records into, what is it, AVI? That's how that... uh, yeah, Fraps records AVI, which is just high quality media files. But when you put it through something like Camtasia, you get MPEG-4, which is a lot lower quality and runs better on YouTube. It has more, um, it's more compatible with websites at the moment. So, that's pretty much how you do it. There isn't much more to it. That just rhymed. That was cool. <laughs> um, same goes for other games. It's that you can't use the lower corner. Use Fraps. Or, Camtasia works well, but it lags with games. Um, it's because it's not actually recording the program itself. It's just recording the overlay of the screen. Um, and that means, well, it's because um, when a, it's not focused on a program, you don't get the full frame rate. When it's the focus, like Fraps uses, you get the full frame rate and full settings. And that's where you get higher quality, thus higher file size. With Camtasia, this video is only going to be like 30, 40 megabytes. So, I highly suggest Camtasia actually, if you wanted to make tutorial videos like these, it does all the automatic like zooming in on the mouse and everything, it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, you'll need low recorder, fraps, and that's pretty much it. It's all self-explanatory, same as all my other videos, you just need a bit of common sense and how to do them. So, yeah, um, things I keep forgetting to ask, um, are there any other videos you want me to do? I don't know. If I'm not told, I don't know what to make. Um, I'm just going with the flow at the moment. Things I didn't know how to do. I might do how to live stream games next. Because that took me a while to work out how to do properly. So, I could do that. Uh, anything. Just anything you want. I'll see if I can do it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably post this on the blog. If you want to check it out, go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> um, I might post another video tomorrow. I'm not busy, I don't think. No, I'm good. Okay. Um, yeah, Mondays and Thursdays I'm busy. And sometimes Tuesdays. So it'll probably be Wednesdays and Fridays when there's the most updates. So, that's it. 
Um, blah, blah, blah. Ciao. <laughs>